Well, number two, it's YOLO time. We're going to blast this down, hopefully get ourselves into a nice, easy M-ringer. P5 Max stretch, blue ring by the right base of the signs. Check your wind angle. We're either going to do nothing or we're going to move in half a ring to the left or one ring to the left, depending on the angle. Okay, let me just go in to take a screenshot here and just explain the wind angles here. There's quite a lot going off on this. So basically, if we look in the background, if your wind angle here, you would assume that your angle would be pointing somewhere towards the sign. This is do nothing. Yellow is between the sign and the middle of the tree. And blue, you're going to be almost right across the signs or along that big tree there. Red, do nothing. Yellow, move half a ring left. Blue, move one, move one ring left. Curl is also going to determine um, on the angle, so please note these down as I will explain the curl a little bit later. Let me just continue the video and explain a little more. This particular one here is blue, so I'm moving one ring to the left. Once I've done this, one to one for winds over 15 miles an hour, so I'm going to be adjusting 3.8 rings. Then I'm going to be adding max top spin plus all bars of boosts we can and 1.3 left side spin. Once you've done this, the curl is also going to dictate the angle as well. We're going to be using outer wall left curl for the tailwind angle, and we're going to be using this curl for the blue angle and this one for the middle. So here I'm blue, so this is the curl we're looking for, and hit perfect. perfect shot. Risk reward, kind of need to hit perfect to be honest. You might get lucky with the great, but what we're going to do is look for this beautiful camera angle. It's going to give us a couple of bounces down the fairway. We slide down the green, give ourselves a really, really easy end ringer. We're even going to get an end ringer from green side here, or if you have an end ringer on the hill, that's going to play slightly differently. Or if you do creep into the rough, max top spin with your rough iron, it's like half a ring, and it's an easy chance for an albatross.